So this upcoming season, um, going to be riding on the GT Sanction, 150 mil travel. This bike that you see behind me is just pretty much just been built up out of the box so it's quite standard you know it's got all our parts on the sponsors parts that we run but tomorrow is going to be my first day on it and uh, I'm pretty excited to start making some changes and just just kind of get it dialed in so the rest of the year is looking like pretty specialist enduro schedule um, going to be doing all the uh, Italian super enduro stuff a lot of the mega avalanche stuff and some of the races out here in America like Downeyville and stuff like that so it's you know another challenge I've done a lot of things in my career and you know enduro is like the next kind of stage for me and I'm, I'm pumped to be riding on riding on my GT for that stage I think in terms of bike setup, you know, Enduro is, I think, is very orientated towards the geometry of the bike. Everyone uses quite short travel bikes, 150, 160 mil, and so no matter how good the suspension is, it's never going to be as good as a downhill bike, and yet you're riding similar sorts of tracks, so I think the geometry has to be absolutely perfect, tailor-made for each rider, you know, you have to feel really comfortable on that bike because the geometry is the thing that's going to get you through, not how well the travel's working so for me personally I like a really slack head angle on a low bottom bracket you know maybe even a slack of 64 on some tracks and I think you know that comes from the fact that enduro pretty much is a downhill race but you have to ride to the top you know some of the track the guys were racing last year were were really gnarly you know and you don't get as much practice as in in downhill so you really have to try and ride what's in front of you and you have to be really on the edge of your game all the time you know you have to be ready for ready for everything I think it, as far as enduro goes as a sport it's it's very young and it hasn't kind of identified itself yet when people race downhill you really know what the fastest products are on the market and you really know how to set your bike up you know but with enduro it, all the races are different there's no two races that are the same and it's still trying to find exactly how it should kind of like lay out over a weekend so with that comes a massive range of bike setups you know some races you'll be running single ply tires and then on another race you'll be running full on downhill tires and it really does depend on the track and it really does depend on on the riders preferences so as far as training goes for the for the upcoming season I've pretty much kind of tailored my schedule to just try and lean out not lose muscle mass but just try and really get that good quality lean muscle and you know before we definitely train for when we hit the floor you know we train like rugby players really and now I kind of have to shift my training to more like more long distance more enduro so yeah of course I've got to be able to hit the floor and I've got to be able to crash but at the same time I've got to be able to ride to the top with the fastest guys in the world so it's a, it's a tough thing to train for I mean any sport's tough to train for but it's trying to fit all those aspects into one schedule that's, that's quite tough. 